Greetings to you, the DFG here this morning. Hey guys, I just want to take a moment and speak to you. And when I say guys, I'm talking about male and female. And what I want to talk to you about this morning is Jezebel. Yes, Jezebel. And many of you guys may be well, who are you talking about? Who is Jezebel? Jezebel is what we saw a couple of days ago in that video with these females down in Venezuela, I'm sorry, in Argentina, and them celebrating their ability to offer their children up to Moloch. In other words, to kill their babies, to kill, their, to kill the fetuses in their body, that was those, the seed that was planted in their bodies. Now, let me give you a little bit more insight on Jezebel, and I'm gonna back everything up with precepts. You guys know, you know how y'all push in my heart to do it. Jezebel was a, was, was, was a queen. She was Ahab's wife. Ahab was a king of Israel. Ahab was one of the most wicked kings that ever ruled the nation, our nation. And when I say wicked, he was so wicked that he had a man murdered or he allowed Jezebel to have a man murdered with his signature on it because he wanted to rob a man of his inheritance and the man refused to give up his inheritance because it belonged to his family and to his children and to his children's children. And since he would not give it up to the wicked king, the wicked king went home and feminized, emotional, like many of these men are today, emasculated in their feelings about any and everything. You can't say anything to them without them wanting to fight, walk off the job, quit, you know, uh, uh, get revenge, get violent, or just cow it out. And that's what he did. He literally went back home to his queen, his wife, Jezebel, crying. And you know what Jezebel told him? I'll handle this situation. I'm going to rule over this situation because I've been ruling all the while anyway. Because after all, you know what I'm saying, we're equal and whatever I say goes. And, you know, if I'm not happy, nobody's happy. That's Jezebel. Some of you ladies know exactly what I'm talking about. If I'm not happy, nobody's going to be happy. And I'm going to bring some precepts to help you to grow in this area if you fall under this description as I'm sharing. So what did Jezebel do? Jezebel falsified a letter. She didn't falsify the letter. She just wrote a name in the letter of the king and gave it to her henchmen, her, her, her murderous contractors. You know, sort of like... Um, that the, the, these, these uh, mercenary groups the United States use when they want to overthrow other governments around the world. She got her mercenaries together and they went out and they murdered this man and took this man land from him and his family. And not only did Jezebel conspire to, to harm, to, to, to do debauchery and wickedness, she took in every man who spoke against her, including Isaiah the prophet, she tried to have, she had most of them killed. The only men she would allow to be around her is yes men. The men that would go along with her, her, her wickedness, her connivingness, her, her, her conspiring against her husband and against the people of Yah. That was, those were the only men that she would have around her. Do you know anybody like that, sisters of Judah? You know, whenever you got a problem in your relationship, you can always go to these other women or these men who encourage you to tear down your own homes and your houses. And let me be clear right here. Because I know some of you guys saying, what's going on with DFG? Not a damn thing is going on with DFG. Got nothing to do with me. So let me put that out right now so I can shut Satan down. This has nothing to do with me. This is bringing forward the word that y'all put on my heart to forewarn Jezebel spirits out there. Anyway, let me continue. So she was killing all of the righteous men who were speaking out against her wicked ass. And then all the men who would go along with it, she was encouraging them and surrounding herself with them. And you go into first king, you'll read about it. You know what Isaiah did? Isaiah had every last one of them devils. He had Yahshua come, not Yahshua, Yahuwah, come down and rain fire on all those wicked ones. So that's going to happen to all these little wicked conspirers with you. Yah's going to burn them to death going to kill him, and he's going to kill him sooner than you might believe. He's already killing many of them. These little sissified men who got nothing better to do than to, than to, to cohort 
with this wickedness, this this overruling, and I'm gonna, I, we, you know, we we we're gonna be, we're gonna put ourselves over the man. Like somehow Yah is in favor of this foolishness. So Isaiah had Yah bring down fire and burn them all up. Go read it for yourself. And you know what Jezebel did? She put a contract out on Isaiah. And that's how it is. Anytime a man like myself or any other man with a spirit of Rahuk in him will speak out against this, this wickedness, we get attacked. But like Isaiah, we don't give a damn about what you say. We're going to bring it forward no matter what. Now, Isaiah did, I have to be honest with you, Isaiah kind of cowered out and ran when he found out that Jezebel was after him. Only for a moment. And Yah had to get it on his behind and get his mind right and tell him, look, I got 7,000 other men that ain't afraid of Jezebel, so why are you over here running? You did all this good work, and now you're acting like a cow because you're letting them put pressure on you to, to, to succumb to this feminist foolishness. Oh yeah, it happened like that. And you know what y'all did to Jezebel? He had her own conspirers, all those who were working with him, had her throw, had them throw her off the balcony, broke her neck, and the dogs came and ate her wicked ass up. That was her judgment. So Jezebel, all you women with this Jezebel spirit, conspiring against these men, up, up, you're just going upsetting the natural order of things, y'all got something very special coming to you. But you don't have to take DFG's word for it. As to all, can we go to the book? Now watch this. Let's get into the word here. Praise Yah. Got to put these eyes on so I can see. All right. Let's go to Revelation. Give you some precepts here, okay? This, just so you have it. Revelation chapter 2. I'm going to start reading here at uh, verse uh, 19. And this is he talking to the sons of, of, of Yah. He's talking to, to the brethren. All right, to the, to the body here. He says, I know your works, men, and the love and the service and belief. He's only talking to the righteous men. He ain't talking to these emasculated and feminine ones that I mentioned. These who lie in bed with the Jezebels, conspire and cohorts of Jezebel. He's not talking to them. He's talking about all of you men who are bold enough to take the stand that he told you to take, no matter what he comes against you. He says, I know your work and your love and your service and belief and your patience and your works. And the last shall be more than the first. He says, so don't give up. You're only going to get stronger. You think you're strong now, you're going to get even stronger. Hold your ground. Hold your position. Do not succumb to feminism. He says, but notwithstanding, I have a few things against you. He said, because you have suffered that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess. So that's all, that's all these prophetesses. When, well, I know y'all called me to preach. He just put you in your place. This is Revelation. This is the end. He said, you suffered that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophet to teach and to seduce my servants, to commit fornication and to eat things that are sacrificed to idols. He says, I gave Jezebel a chance to repent for her fornication and she didn't. She did not, she did not change. She just kept going forward. She didn't care. She was in rebellion like many of the sisters of Judah are right now. And behold, I will cast her into a bed and them that break wedlock with her into the great tribulation and accept their repent for their deeds. And he said, this out, look else, woman, Jezebel, if you want to continue this behavior. This else what he says. And I will kill her children with death. And, and all that called out her and all her called out assembly shall know that I am he which searches the minds and the hearts. So you're not going to hide this. And a lot of you all know that's not true. These men just ain't no good. You're a damn lie. These men ain't got nothing to do with the commandments of Yah towards you. You can't blame these men for what you're doing. That is, a, that is a lesbian spirit in the hearts of you that's telling you that you're equal to a man. And now you want to preach. You want to teach. You want to be over the man. Oh, you're saying, okay, DFG, again, what, you, 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 you're overstating facts. Okay, let me give you another kind of precept here. Go to Genesis. All right, come on, let's go here. Praise Yah. And then I'm about to wrap this up. So I know some of you guys are already steaming and burning. And then maybe one or two of you guys saying, Praise Yah. Bring it forward, my brother. Here's Genesis chapter 3. And, and Elohim said unto the serpent, Because you have done this, you, have, you are cursed above all cattle. He's talking about Esau, Edom, and all of his cohorts. 
all of the family of them. You know, the, the those who lack that melanin. The surface seed. He says, unto the serpent, because you have done this, you, have, you are cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon your belly you shall go, and the dust you shall eat all the days of your life. In other words, they will live in the caves. That's what he means, they're going to live in the caves. And I will put into me, into, into, into me between you and the, and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. And it shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. And as a woman, he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow, in your conception, and in sorrow you shall bring forth children, and your desire shall be to your man, and he shall rule over you. That's the judgment of Yah. So the Jezebel spirit said that no man's going to tell me what to do, no man is going to rule over me. Fine. Then just remember what I just read to you in Revelations, and the judgment that's going to come against you and your children and your children's children. You already see it. When my mother getting shot down in the streets, like, like dogs by the police, by one another. Your daughter's out here, you know, doing dancing to wet-ass pussy songs. You don't walk. You know what I'm talking about. Stretch it, hoish. You already see it. He says, I'm going to destroy your children. I'm going to destroy their seed because of you and your wickedness. You're killing the, the seeds of, of Yah. And you're rebelling. Just like Jezebel did to her husband, she's going to undermine him. Undermine the people. Try to rule over the people. Because why? She wanted to have authority over the man when Yah said, no, you would be under the man and he would rule over you. So now you've got to, now you've got to question. What are you going to do? Go ahead, fight, fight back. Cuss me out. Cuss Yah out. It doesn't matter because Yah has already written what's going to happen to you. Maybe. But I guess at the end of the day, that's your decision. And if you got any additional questions, what's the role of a real woman of Yah? Go read Titus. I want to say chapter 2. It'll tell you what your real purpose is. And it'll tell you what it is not. And it's damn sure not trying to rule over men. If anything, you are put here to support him. To be a helpmate to him. To encourage him. And men, just like Ahab. You're going along with this foolishness. You're not standing up. You're not being bold. You're not speaking out against the treachery, against Yah. That's what he mean by it. she committed fornication and broke wedlock. You committing fornication and, and breaking wedlock when you're serving man instead of serving the word of Yah. When you're following the laws of man instead of following the laws of Yah. You're committing fornication and you're breaking wedlock with Yah. And he's going to judge you and he's going to destroy you for it. And he's going to destroy your sons and your daughters for it if you don't repent. And in this foolishness with Jezebel, God damn it, if she can't support you, she can't do the things that y'all call, then get rid of her ass. Excuse my, well, you know, we talked about what, what is words, strong words. These are words of love. Matter of fact, these are the words of Yah. I'm giving you three concepts. Now you follow up and do your own research. But see this thing that's going on wrong right here, right now, guys? And this fight, and, you know, you, you may end up with a dang on female president of the United States, and people are encouraging this foolishness. He said he suffered not to rule over a man or to teach him she, that she's not supposed to have any authority over a man. She's supposed to have authority over her house and her children, over herself, if she's a, 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 a woman of Elohim. That's all I got for you right now. Jezebel, Jezebel, Jezebel. Remember that song, Bad Boys, Bad Boys, What You Gonna Do? Uh, when the police come, <laughs> I think that's the way it goes. Jezebel, Jezebel, what you gonna do when Elohim come looking for you? Bye now.